Oh hi there, it is me, that one makeup kid, and I am back with another video. This time I am doing a tutorial on how to get this look. It is very, very, very heavily inspired by this look that I did on Valentine's Day. A lot of you guys are asking if I would do a tutorial on this, so I thought I would come through for y'all and show you guys how I did it. This look is a little bit different because I messed up the order of some of the eyeshadows, but it's like pretty much the same, so you can work off of it. Um, yeah, it's a nice glowy, um, red, simple Valentine's Day look, and if you guys want to figure out how to recreate this, then just keep on watching. Turning the washer on right before a video was a mistake. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I know the washer is on. I didn't plan that perfectly, but we have to start, otherwise we're gonna lose that natural lighting right there, and then it's, uh, it's gonna look really bad. So, we're starting now. So the first thing I did is I used all of these shades right here to create a transition shade, and this is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I don't remember exactly what the next step was, but I'm pretty sure I just added Nana from the Magic Palette um, into my crease as well. So yep, we are going to do that as well. This might not end up exactly like it looked, but it will get pretty close. And next I put some of Taza from the Saharan 2 palette in the outer corner. So really, oh my god, that's too much. Next, on the very outer corner, on a fluffy brush, we are putting Kogi from the Magic Palette. And then you're going to blend everything out with a not-so-clean fluffy brush. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut the inner part of the crease, and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I actually like this one for cutting the crease better than the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just gonna put some of that on the brush. Okay. And we are going to cut the inner part of the crease. Okay, so after I set that with Heaven from the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, I am going to go in and start the gradient on the eye. And these are all the pinks. So I'm going to start near the outer corner with Zuba from the Magic Palette. Pretty sure I took Osun. Osun. From the magic palette and put that next I'm pretty sure it's that one it's either this one or another one but I'm like really I'm only 50% sure with that one so like we'll go with it and see how it looks okay there will never be a video where I don't drop something for the most part we are going to put Ma Marrakesh from the Saharan 2 palette. Yeah, so this gradient is a little different than when I originally did it. If you want to do this like this picture right here, then I would do um, Marrakesh right here where I put Osun and then put Osun where I put Marrakesh. So right now... I think I swapped those two colors, so it looks a little different, but it's fine. We're not going to worry about it. It's all good. Okay, so now we are going to deepen up the crease 
and I am going to go in with Kaza from the Saharan 2 on a smaller, more dense fluffy brush and I'm going to put that in the outer corner. All with that fluffy brush. I always end up blending one eye higher than the other. Um, it's just my eternal hell. And so now, this is like my favorite shade ever. This is Zora and I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and put that on the very outermost part and I'm only taking a tiny bit because these are pigmented AF and I don't want to make it all muddy. And then we are going to use the same brush and take the Morphe 12P palette and go in with the red. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to foundation and I like to mix these two. Um, this is the lightest shade of this foundation and it is about two shades too dark. So I like to mix it with the drops to make it my shade. And I take like, one pump of that, like three to four, one, two, three, four, five, okay, we're taking five today. I took one of these extractors yesterday night and just went ham on my nose. I've never done it before. And it was like fascinating, but it was also kind of gross how much stuff came out. But my nose looks and feels so good now. Okay, so I got foundation on, and now I'm going to put concealer on. For this look, I used the Maybelline Fit Me. I think I didn't want my, the complete full coverage that the Tarte one gave me. Um, so, yep, I'm gonna go with this under the eyes I think I am going to use a tiny bit of the tart one though because my bags look pretty bad right now so I'm going to use some of the tart shape tape to put under the eyes and also do a bit of highlighting cool so now we are going to move on to contour and my favorite thing for contouring is the City Color Collection Contouring Palette. Now let's use this shade right here on the Real Technique Contour Brush. Make sure you go light hand okay. and chisel your face out. So now we're moving back onto the eyes. We're going to do the lower lash line. And I am going to take this Elf C brush and go into Nana and put that all over the lower lash line. And on the same brush, I'm going to take some Taza and do the same thing, but not go in quite as far. And finally, on the same brush, I am taking Zora. Now, for the inner corner, we are taking Aziza, which is a perfect, like, white gold that just rocks my world. I love it. So much. I don't usually do brow bone highlights just because um, I have hair there and I 
refuse to pluck the hair there because I'm afraid of premature earring. Premature earring? Premature aging. I'm going to put on some blush. I love blush. It like brings the whole look together. And I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution blush palette. This is the blush palette queen. And I just go like that. Basically. Kind of focusing more on these ones. This time around. Of course, tap off the excess. Smile. It's so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to do nose contour. Sometimes I use Benefit Hula, other times I just use this one right here because I'm too lazy to go get Benefit Hula. So I'm just going to use Nudie from the Natural Matte Palette and the contour mode. Oh, we're almost done. Now we are going to do highlighter and for this look, I went with a pink duochrome highlighter and I went with Ho 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 from Touch of Glam Beauty. I've talked about these a couple times on my channel and I have a whole review on them so if you want to watch the review on this entire trio then I will put the link right there for you to watch. So yep, we're just going to go in there. These smell so fucking good, oh my god. Before I forget to do it, we're gonna put on mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Y'all, this is better than Mary Kay, this is better than Too Faced, this is better than Lancome. Like, it's like $4 really go get it. It is so worth the hype. Doing my bottom lash line scares me. And finally, we are going to do lipstick and this is Lime Crimes Saint. This is so good. I do really like Lime Crime lipsticks. Um, sometimes I find that you wanna focus on me? Thank you. Um, sometimes I do find that the darker colors are a bit streaky. Um, or like a uh, posh, their metallic purple is a little bit streaky. Uh, but this one, this one is not streaky at all. And it looks so good. Just like... Oh hi. You decided to show up to the party. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was at least a little bit helpful. Um, this was like my first like tutorial where it wasn't just like a sped up video. So I hope it's okay. And yes, if you guys like this video, you can subscribe down below or you can click right there to subscribe. You can click right there to watch another video. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.